making cars moves us. What moves you? It's supposed to be a seven-member board, but there are only six duly appointed and confirmed members, and today two of them recuse themselves, declining to participate in the discussion or vote on the specialty retail concession contract at the airport. Board member Linda Tolan and board chairman Frank Santos bowed out because of concerns they expressed to PNC News last November about gifts they received from one of the bidders, Lotte, during a September trip to Korea for the inaugural events surrounding the first flight of Korean discount airliner Jeju Air to Guam. Both Tolan and Santos had returned the gifts, and Santos today affirmed he did not believe there was anything unethical about it, although both he and Tolan recused themselves today. I do not believe that there were any ethical violations. However, to avoid any appearance of this to maintain public confidence, in this procurement and integrity of the solicitation process, I will abstain from participating in any discussion or vote relating to this uh, RFP. I will turn this uh, over to the uh, vice chair to discuss this matter on this agenda, on these items. And now I will turn this thing over to you, uh, vice chair. Mr. Uh, chairman. Yes. Uh, since I'm involved in the Jeju Air Niagara flight, I do also abstain to remove any air doubts on the bidding process. With those two board members bowing out, that left just four board members left to vote on the controversial concession contract. And it also left Jesus Torres as the acting chairman. GIA attorney Mike Pangolinan explained that Torres did not have to cast a vote unless his vote was needed to make a difference in the outcome, to break a tie or create a tie. There are two that are going to abstain and not vote. So whatever, however number of votes that are, are, are cast, you would count those votes. And if there are three votes cast, then two would be the required majority to pass that motion. If, if, there, if the, the chairman, and, that's, and in this case as acting chairman, you're the acting chairman, if your vote is only required if this Your vote would actually make a difference in the outcome. The duty-free concession is worth millions to the winning bidder and to the airport. A decision was originally supposed to have been made last December, ahead of the January expiration of the contract with the current duty-free provider, DFS. Instead, DFS's contract has been extended on a month-to-month -month basis. DFS, of course, is seeking to renew its current contract, and there has been fierce competition from JR Duty Free of Australia, Sheila Duty Free of South Korea, and the main rival, Lotte Duty Free, also of South Korea. Vice Chair Torres called on GIAA Executive Director Chuck Atta to announce the Evaluation Committee's rankings ahead of a vote. The Evaluation Committee completed their evaluation and the scores were tabulated and ranking established as follows. Number one, Proposer A. Number two, Proposer D. Number three, Proposer C, and number four, Proposer B. But who are A, D, C, and B? The board members did not know and weren't going to be told ahead of the vote who they were voting for. They were to vote for letters only to preserve the integrity of the process. The rankings were done by an independent evaluator, said Ada, who reached the ranking recommendations on the basis of objective criteria. However, Acting Chair Torres was uncomfortable with that, and he announced that he wanted to recuse himself as well. For years we've been doing these things, and all of a sudden, this one specific item, you know, we have a magical new proposal, proposal A through D. I mean, you know, I'm not comfortable with that, to be very honest with you, not in all due respect. Question one is, what the hell do we list down the name of the proposal? We've been doing it since time immemorial, since this airport was created. Uh, I'm inclined right now, Mr. Chairman, to recuse myself as the Vice Chairman to further conduct this meeting. A recess was called, and when it was over, Attorney Pangolinan recommended that an analysis be done on the consequences and possible outcomes of Torres recusing himself. The vote on the concession contract was postponed. We actually would just want to do an analysis and come up with a recommendation as to what to do, uh, how to proceed on this matter from here. I think that's an excellent idea. Kevin Kerrigan, PNC News.